Hello and welcome to Golden Herb Studios. In this video, we'll be making studs that will be used as a coin system. So first, we're gonna create a folder. We're just gonna call it Assets. And then once you create the folder, right click and show and explore. And then you wanna open the Lego tutorial folder. You'll wanna download it again from Dropbox. So it'll have the updated things. Go to UE and just select everything and copy and paste or drag either one and then we'll close these for now go back to unreal engine and then back in here we don't need these ones the stud and silver we can just delete those we just need the material and then we'll just open the stud up so you can see that looks good and then in the content we'll get blueprints we're gonna create a new blueprint we're gonna do actor and then we'll call this stud silver and then we just want to open that up we'll just drag that over here and then we want to add a static mesh and then also a sphere collision and for the static mesh we just want to select the stud not the silver or bronze just the stud and then just make sure that the sphere is pretty close to the same size as the stud and then with the stud selected you just want to scroll down and click simulate physics and then collision, you want to go down, make sure that the physics actor is selected first, and then hit custom. And we just want to ignore the pawn. And then we want to click on the sphere, and down in collision, we just want to open that up, and we want to click pawn, and then custom. And then we just want to set this to query only, and then ignore everything except for the pawn. And then in the event graph, we're just going to delete this. And on the sphere, we want to add an event and on component begin overlap. And then on other actor, we want to cast to character. And this isn't the third person character, it's just the character in general. So if a character is colliding with the stud, then it will pick it up. And then I want to get actor of class and I want to do player info. And then we just want to go into the player info and we want to add a coins. And we want to make sure this is set to integer. And make sure the default is set to zero and then go back to the stud and then we're going to set coin and then we're going to drag off of here click plus and for silver we just want to add five and then you can get coins as well so we can add five to the coins and then we want to play sound at location and then we want to drag out the static mesh and then get the relative location and we'll drag that in and then for the sound effect we're going to come back here go to sound sfx and then i'm going to right click on any of these and click show and explore and then we're going to open the lego tutorial up again and go to sfx and then select everything except the death because we already have that and just transfer that over to that file and then when you go back in you'll have all the sound effects from the lego game and then you can come up here and for this one we're going to do stud and then to make it so it shows up, we're going to go to UI and then the HUD. And then we're going to click on the text and then we'll create a binding. And we want to get the player info and then get coins. And then one more thing, click on the static mesh. And for the material, we're going to change this to silver. And then just select all of these and we're just going to have to redo it. Just drag these in and delete everything and we're just going to hook these back up make sure that the imperfection is on the bottom for both of them and then let's just plug them in and then just one more thing go back to the sphere and instead of blocking we need to make it overlap and then compile make sure it's dragged in and now you can see that we add but you can see that we can just keep walking over it and adding so we need to make sure to add a destroy actor. So now when we do it, we pick it up, place the sound, and we get coins. So all we need to do for this is to duplicate it four times. And we're going to call this one bronze. This one purple. And then we're going to call this one blue. And then we can just open all of these up and we're going to go to the materials because we need to duplicate those as well 
and then just delete that and then I'm going to call this bronze and then we're going to do this two more times I'm going to call it blue and then finally purple and then we can open these ones up and all we need to do is change the colors and then if you want the same color as I do, just copy these values 004, 03, and 0.3 and then apply and close that and we'll do the same for this and then for purple, you want 0 0.06, 0, 0.1 and then for bronze, you want 0 0.8, 0 0.4, and 0 0.1 and then the next thing to do is to just go through and change all of these out to the correct color so this one is purple so we're going to change it to the purple and then blue and then bronze and then the next thing to change is the values so for the silver it's five and then the bronze is 100 and the blue is a thousand and then the purple is five thousand and then you can compile all of those and then i'm just going to drag all of these into the scene and then the last thing to change is the sound effect because the blue and the purple have a different sound so we're going to change it to the blue stud all right and that's all for this coin tutorial next tutorial we might do a health pickup thing with the heart thank you for watching and i'll see you next time